going? Welcome to your weekly love reading. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, guys, make sure you check out your entire month of March reading. Um, that is up as well. And I'm pretty sure, pretty sure your singles reading is done too, if you're single. All right, anyway, guys, here we go. What's up with you, Gemini? What's up? How's it going? The sun. Nice, Gemini. The Ace of Wands. The Emperor. What the heck? Temperance. Oh my gosh, look at these majors. Justice. <laughs> Ace of Cups. This looks badass, Gemini. I think your last one was kind of shitty, so um, this is good. Good stuff. So at the end of this reading, I will answer a yes or no question for you. So throughout the reading, try to think of a question that you have for me and I can answer that for you at the end. It'll be the very last thing that I do right after I pull your energy with the specific signs, okay? All right, so you are coming into this week in the sun energy. Like you are on top of the fucking world. This is great, this is happy. Let's get one on that sun. Happiest card in the deck, guys. You have it in your own energy. That's fucking phenomenal. With the Queen of Pentacles. So you're likely in a commitment already or headed towards it. Earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But we're still on your energy. So your money looks good. You look stable. Um, again, you're either going to be a Gemini that is in a full-on commitment here. Or that potential is there for you. That's what's on your mind. Three of Wands. You could be taking a vacation. Maybe that's why you're so sunny. Um, this could be taking a vacation. It can be, you know, it's just looking towards the future, planning for the future. You could be planning a wedding with that Queen of Pentacles there. Um, definitely all good. You could be involved in like a long distance thing, but if that's the case, it doesn't look like it's an issue. Recent past year of the Ace of Wands, this is that new beginning, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So this is when everything first started in the past. It might have started out um, real sexed up, like it might have just been like a sexual thing that's kind of taken off now. Either way, it's a lot of attraction and it happened like real fast. Now in your present, you have the Emperor, Aries, Divine Feminine. This is like boss shit. So either you are in your divine feminine energy or the person that you're dealing with is. Did I say feminine? <laughs> I meant masculine. It's divine masculine. Shit, I should just go to bed. Anyway, um, so this person can be like a business owner, a father figure, an actual father, a boss, somebody who really like takes control of their life. Like they've got their shit together. Oh my gosh, and the Ten of Cups, that's the fairy tale shit. That's your happy ending, Gemini. Oh my goodness. So again, if you're not in a committed relationship, that's here for you. That's that potential. That's somebody who wants to settle down. And judgment. Um, all right, so this is like a second chance. This can be somebody that you dealt with before. It doesn't have to be like an ex, but maybe somebody that was just in your life and you guys didn't take it in that direction and now there's like the opportunity to so this is something that like maybe you thought that like you didn't have a chance with them they didn't have a chance with you whatever the situation is and now it's like coming up to be reevaluated um and this is about your higher calling too so this is a pretty significant connection for you um and it's also like divine intervention your potential obstacle here though is justice so there could be a Libra that's problematic in your love life. I hope that this person isn't already married, but uh, if that's the case, it's only on paper because the energy that is here is not deceptive. It's not cheating kind of shit. You know what I mean? And the star reversed Aquarius. So many majors. This is a big fucking week for you, Gemini. So with the star reversed here, there could be an Aquarius that's problematic here. Maybe they have an Aquarius ex-wife, ex-husband, um, or there could be somebody here that isn't healed from something, potentially a past marriage, a past connection, a karmic connection, whatever. 
that just might need to be resolved. You know, nothing, I don't think there's anything horrible because you end up just fine. You've got temperance here in the future. That's Sagittarius. Um, you've got so many fucking majors here though. So I couldn't even tell you who this sign is, but with temperance in the future, whatever this shit is, it's going to be just fine. Temperance is just having some patience. It's, you know, tempering yourself. It's alchemy, um, harmony, all that good stuff. So whatever this potential challenge is, it's not going to matter. It's going to be just fine. And the Hermit reversed Virgo and yet another major. So when you have a lot of majors in your reading, it just, the universe has a lot to do with this connection and a lot to do with your love life right now. This is all universal. It's kind of things that like the universe is doing for you. You know what I mean? Um, anyway, in the future with the Hermit reverse, this could be just this person maybe you haven't seen them in a while and they resurface and you guys like it just takes off. But this is coming out of isolation, coming out of a period where you close yourself off, they close themselves off, and now you've kind of like gotten to this place where you're like in harmony, your inner self, your outer self, everything's good. Um, you've taken like the bad shit in your life and turned it around and it's made you more grown up and mature and the same thing for them and the fucking world. Whew. All right, leveling up guys. You're closing out a whole cycle in your life and because you're doing that, it's allowing for this higher level connection. This is definitely a higher level connection. It's not mundane. It's not average. Um, it's the universe is leveling you up. This is a whole new cycle for you. Like you've like accomplished what you needed to accomplish and whatever your last connection was so that now you're move, you're ready to move on to like a higher level type of a connection. If this is existing, you guys are taking it to the next level here in the future. Um, your advice guys is the ace of cups. I mean, it's just, that's a brand new beginning in love. Express your emotions. It's, it's all the love guys. This is a whole new beginning. Again, if it's existing, this is a rebirth. This is like an outpouring of emotion, um, a new beginning. Gosh, it's just so cool. Gemini get another one here. The high priestess, listen to your intuition when it comes to this connection. You guys might have like um, some kind of a telepathic connection. It might be of like a higher spiritual level. And I think it is with all these majors here. Um, pay attention to your dreams. Pay attention to signs and synchronicities as it pertains to this person or this connection. And the Ten of Swords. So you are ending a really painful cycle here, or they are. This is an ending of, like, her, all right? So with having the Ten of Swords, yeah, it sucks. It's shit. It's really hurtful, but that's it. That's it. That's done. It's time to get better now. So the star reverse here might actually be you not healing from some Ten of Swords moment in your life, some kind of painful ending, um, potentially even like an old marriage or something that still needs healed from but it is there it's done it's over it is gonna get better all right let's get you some romance oracles here what do gemini's need to hear this week as it pertains to their love life Passion, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Cute. Let's get another one. Attraction, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. You've got passion and attraction. That's pretty fucking cool. All right, um, let's get your energy with the different signs. And you've got a lot here. So let me just see again who we have. We have Leo, Aries. Sagittarius, Virgo, Libra, Aquarius. God, I'm going to forget these as I'm pulling the signs. But anyway, here we go. Gemini dealing with Aries. What's up for Gemini's dealing with Aries? Gemini and Aries. 
the Eight of Cups reverse. You could have an Aries X or an Aries from your past that's trying to come back. Gemini dealing with Taurus, Gemini and Taurus. Queen of Cups, there is a lot of love there. It is genuine emotion. They are emotionally available. Gemini dealing with Gemini. Gemini, Gemini. Oh, Three of Swords reversed. So if you have another Gemini, there was likely some kind of hurt between the two of you, potentially like betrayal, but that is being healed. Gemini dealing with Cancer. Gemini and Cancer. King of Swords reversed. No, you guys probably aren't on speaking terms. If you are, it's very immature conversation. Um, they're probably really like rude, smart assy, whatever. Um, probably not even honest. Uh, verbally abusive even. Gemini dealing with Leo. Gemini and Leo. Seven of Pentacles reversed. That looks to be a waste of time. Gemini dealing with Virgo, which you have in this reading. Gemini and Virgo. Ooh, the wheel. Yes. So this could definitely be a Virgo because this is about a faded connection. Like you're meant to meet them at this time. This is It's divine timing. The universe push, pushing this connection, clearing obstacles for you guys because it, it's time for you guys to connect now. All right. Gemini dealing with Libra. Gemini and Libra. Six of Cups, you have a Libra from your past that misses you. Um, it doesn't have to be an ex, but it, it's likely somebody that you've known a long time in your life or you guys have a past life connection. Gemini dealing with Scorpio. Gemini and Scorpio, the world reversed. You could have a Scorpio that feels like they have unfinished business with you. Gemini dealing with Sagittarius. Gemini and Sagittarius, the Seven of Cups, they fantasize about you a lot, but they are confused and they feel like they need some kind of clarity on this. Gemini dealing with Capricorn, Gemini and Capricorn, Eight of Pentacles, that is putting, that, that is putting, that is worth putting the work into, um, although they could physically work a lot, like their job might take up a lot of their time. Gemini dealing with Aquarius. Ten of Cups. That's that happy ending. If you have an Aquarius, they do want to settle down. They want that whole, you know, happy home, happy family with you. They are looking for that kind of a whatever, that kind of whatever, Gemini. <laughs> That's what they want. That's the potential with them. Gemini dealing with Pisces. Gemini and Pisces. The Empress. All right. So, um, if you're dealing with a Pisces, they are either in their divine feminine energy or they look at you as you are. Um, this is a lot of growth potential. It will take some time, but the energy is definitely there for this to grow into something really amazing. Okay. Oh, shit. I'm going to get you some additional messages here and then I'll pull your yes or no. All right. Let's see. What does Gemini need to hear as it pertains to their love life this week? does Gemini need to hear? King of Winter. Get advice from someone professional and objective. Unemotional relationships. I mean, that's just being very head over heart, very logic minded. It's actually your own energy. It's just you being yourself, basically. Five of Autumn. Reach out to others for assistance. Uh, poor timing for a career change. Feeling challenged by money issues. So this is a five of pentacles. This is uh, feeling left out in the cold. Having like lack mentality. I know this is a love relationship. But there might be somebody still sticking around in your love life. That you need to close the door on. And you might need to get kind of like harsh about it. You know. Alright. I'm going to. Before I pull your yes or no. I'm going to get you one of these. Rebel Oracles, they are a bit offensive, but they're funny and they're lighthearted. And I need to throw that in here because I can't be serious 24-7. All right, here we go, Gemini. What does Gemini need to hear? And these can be for whatever. It doesn't necessarily have to be love. They're just fun. Gemini, what you need to hear? Winning. You've got a good thing going. Don't ruin that shit. Well, yours wasn't offensive at all, Gemini. That is awesome. Let's get you another one. Money. 
not make it rain. Look at you. You got the good ones, Gemini. You are on some shit here. All right, let's get your yes or no. Are you ready? Take a deep breath. Focus on your question. Yes or no for my Geminis. Yes or no. Yes or no, Gemini. Yes or no. That's a no with the six of wands reversed. I hope you guys wanted it to be. You guys take care. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today.